And news coming in, violent protests rock Pulwama as students hit the streets against the Bandipur rape incident. Forces, vehicles have been targeted and police had to use bat baton charge and tear and uh, tear gas shells in order to clear the violent gathering. Not just in Bandipur, students protests rock Gandharbal as well. Stone pelting is being reported and vehicles were targeted. Police used force to disperse the gathering. So this, of course, is a reaction that we can see of protests which have already uh, rocked Bandipur district. There we can see that protests in Pulwama becoming violent. The visuals on your screen tell the story. The students have hit the streets against uh, protesting against the rape incident. I'm joined by my colleague Meer Farid, who's been tracking the story. Uh, Meer, what we can see is now that the protests which had already started are now turning violent. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, we have reports from Pul Pulwama and uh, visuals also now where you can clearly see students uh, protesting against the Bandipura incident. That's the fallout uh, that uh, the authorities were faring against. And uh, uh, exactly that's happening, though this violence is not uh, uh, massive right now. It's uh, most about, uh, more, morely about uh, uh, peaceful protests. But uh, there have been areas like Pulwama, Gandharbal uh, and some other parts where there has been violence now. You can clearly see these angry uh, students targeting security force vehicles, pelting stones. Uh, police had to intervene, uh, had to fire uh, tear smoke shells and bait and charge to disperse uh, these uh, violent gatherings. Now, uh, through, uh, out to the valley, there is uh, resentment, there are protests, anguish, uh, and uh, people. Uh, this is exactly, uh, as we have been reporting, is spilling on the streets with these uh, protests happening. So that really is the situation. Uh, the Divisional Commissioner uh, uh, Kashmir, Basir Ahmed Khan, moments back, uh, uh, spoke to the media and uh, uh, in a message to the people, uh, the authorities are trying to convey the message that uh, uh, they are on it and the people should not really uh, fall to uh, the inimical elements as far as uh, uh, people who are trying to uh, take advantage of the situation uh, to spread chaos, to ensure that there is violence, and uh, those people should not be heeded to. Police is doing its job, and uh, the culprit in this case will be given exemplary punishment. So that really is a situation where, unfortunately, it's snowballing uh, into a Pan Valley crisis, where at some places the protests have been peaceful, but there are other locations where uh, there has been violence and uh, the authorities trying their best to control the situation. And Meer, what we are picking up also is the fact that train services to North Kashmir have in fact been affected. Tell us more. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, uh, the intra-Kashmir train uh, that's, that connects south with North Kashmir, while uh, Srinagar to South Kashmir is still on, but North Kashmir, where all uh, the trouble is brewing up, uh, Train services have been uh, stopped there because uh, uh, they fear that uh, the trains could be attacked. So uh, uh, this, this, this precautionary measure has been ta taken to add to that. Uh, internet, mobile internet is already snapped. Uh, there is curfew-like situation in some parts of Bandipura, uh, especially uh, Sumbal, where this incident took place. Uh, then you have the schools and colleges that have been shed almost across valley, especially in north and central Kashmir. Uh, right now, I am uh, in Srinagar where there is complete uh, shutdown. I'm in Lal Chok, uh, a spontaneous shutdown. Well, there were small organizations who organizations would call for a shutdown, but uh, it's uh, people who have done it on their own uh, business, uh, people who down their shutters against this. This, is a, this really is a... Uh, is, is, a ref is a reflective of uh, the feeling that the people, uh, uh, or should I say the anger that the people are feeling right now, and they are conveying it through the shutdown and also these protests, uh, uh, as we are reporting from various parts of the valley. That's right, May stay with us as we are in fact bringing uh, our viewers up to date with what is happening in, uh, in Jammu and Kashmir. There you can see the visuals on the screen there, essentially uh, of violent protests which have in fact taken place in Pulwama as a, a reaction to uh, the Bandipur rape incident where uh, students have in fact taken to the streets in protest. Uh, what we are also picking up is that security forces vehicles have in fact been targeted. The police also had to use uh, a mild force in order to disperse the crowd. Tear gas shells were used to clear the violent gathering. And this is being reported not just uh, protest, not just in Bandipur, uh, but students are protesting in Gandharbal as well, uh, where stone pelting has in fact been reported, and vehicles there were also targeted. And as uh, Meer was also reporting over there, that train services 
uh, which were uh, towards North Kashmir have in fact been suspended uh, in the wake of these violent protests taking place. And this, of course, in reaction to the case of a three-year-old being raped in Bandipur. What we have in fact seen is that there have been protests earlier as well in the Bandipur district, but unfortunately the protests now turning violent there and the police are trying to manage the crowd and because of that, uh, there you can see tear gas shells also being used by the police, the security forces there in order to disperse the crowd. I'm joined by my colleague Meer Farid now reporting live on the story. Meer, uh, what are you picking up? How exactly are the security forces handling the situation? Well, uh, the security has been beefed up across the Kashmir Valley and since yesterday there has been an apprehension of uh, this really going out of hand. We've seen previously such situations because people are very sensitive about uh, uh, this aspect where uh, rape uh, is something that uh, is unacceptable in any society. But if you talk of Kashmir being a conservative society, it's, it's kind of a collective shame that the people are feeling. And that's why, as I said, there is a spontaneous shutdown. There are protests. And this is really this anger, this resentment, this, this uh, uh, people are aghast and that is spilling on the streets. Now, we are at the location of one such student protest uh, in the heart of Srinagar, as you can see. Uh, we are in the Lal Chok area, which is a commercial hub. It's complete shutdown, and then the, there are students who have assembled here and are protesting against this incident. It's a chorus uh, which is growing. Uh, people are saying that they want justice. They want, uh, uh, importantly, swift justice. They do not want uh, this case uh, to linger on in courts like many other cases are. And basically, it's it's it's, it's a resentment against the system because uh, people feel that the politicians, uh, uh, the judiciary. Uh, it's a collective failure where they have uh, failed to set a deterrent uh, to such cases. Uh, no one has been punished in a manner that uh, people in future won't dare to do such a heinous act. So that really is the feeling and that's, that's the frustration and anger which is basically spilling on the streets. You can hear in the, in the background uh, these students uh, uh, basically protesting, saying that Pansi do uh, in in logon ko or aise logon ko phansi do. So this is this really is the sentiment uh, that uh, is basically uh, echoing across uh, the Kashmir Valley. Student protests of similar nature, almost everywhere. There you go. Uh, we are in the heart of uh, Lal Chowk. These are students uh, from various schools and colleges who have assembled. Girls especially, and uh, they they are demanding justice. So this is this is uh, frustration of the common man. It's not only restricted to Kashmir. Across the country, people feel that there should be a very strong deterrent. And uh, more than about this incident, it's about the fact that the government has failed to provide justice, swift justice, set up courts and have an institutional mechanism wherein the, these cases are taken on priority and uh, these people, these, these uh, uh, people who are accused uh, who, against whom case is proven as are provided exemplary punishment. So, Behind me is uh, one such protest, I can safely tell you. These are the scenes in various parts of the Kashmir Valley where in some occasions uh, these protests have been peaceful like this one. And then you have had uh, protest demos where uh, they have gone violent like in Pulwama and Gandharbal. So that really is the situation. And I'll ask Maharaj to just show you around now. This is the commercial hub. You can see shutters are down. People, and this is spontaneous shutdown. Let me tell you, while there were a few shutdown calls, but by not very uh, uh, strong parties, or should I say, who have backing uh, or strong support of the people, this is basically spontaneous. I like to speak to them. Uh, we'll speak to them. But I up ये इंसिडेंट हुआ है फ्रस्ट्रेशन कहाँ है गुस्सा किस पे बहुत ज़्यादा फ्रस्ट्रेशन है और फ्रस्ट्रेशन कल्पित से ज़्यादा अपनी सोसाइटी पे है जो लोग आवाज़ नहीं उठा रहे हैं इस बारे में हम भी जैसे पता है चार दिन हो चुके हैं इस चीज़ को हुए जब तक ये चीज़ सोशल मीडिया में नहीं आई हाइप नहीं हुई तब तक किसी ने इस पॉलिटिशियन पार्टी ने या सेपरेटिस्ट जो हमारे इतना बोलते हैं उन्होंने आवाज़ नहीं उठाई तो ये हमारी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है अगर किसी जगह कुछ हुआ है उसको हाईलाइट करें थ्रू सोशल मीडिया क्योंकि सोशल मीडिया इस वक्त ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म है जहाँ पर चीज़ें हाईलाइट होती है तभी लोगों को जस्टिस मिलता आपको लगता है ऐसे केसेज में जो एक केस लिंगर ऑन होता है स्विफ्ट जस्टिस नहीं है पनिशमेंट ऐसी नहीं है कि आगे दस बार सोचे कोई इंसान ये करने से पहले आपको लगता है हाँ जैसा आप देख रहे हैं कि उस इंसान ने 
ये काम एक लोकैलिटी में किया है जहाँ उसको ये पता था कि कोई भी आके उसको देख सकता है लेकिन उसने फिर भी वो चीज़ वहाँ की क्योंकि उसको डर नहीं है किसी चीज़ का कि कल को इतने सारे केसेस हुए उससे पहले भी बांडीपोरा में ही एक फादर ने अपनी डॉटर का रेप किया उसके साथ क्या हुआ या जैसे आसिफ है उनके उसके कल्प्रिट के साथ क्या हुआ जब यहाँ जस्टिस नहीं मिलता है कैपिटल पनिशमेंट नहीं मिल रही है दैट इज़ वाई दीज थिंग्स आर इंक्रीजिंग जी बिल्कुल आई वुड लाइक टू से कि मतलब ज्यादा गुस्सा हमें अपनी सोसाइटी पे बिकॉज हम गर्ल्स प्रोटेस्ट करने के लिए आ रहे हैं मतलब वी डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ सपोर्ट मतलब हमारी सोसाइटी इस हाल पे आ गई कि गर्ल्स को सड़क पे आना पड़ रहा है गर्ल्स को प्रोटेस्ट करना पड़ रहा है एंड स्टिल वी कैन सी कि कितने कम लोग सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं एंड हमारी गवर्नमेंट स्टिल कोई कैपिटल पनिशमेंट नहीं है मतलब व्हाट एल्स कुड भी मतलब इससे शेमफुल क्या हो सकता है कि गर्ल्स आर प्रोटेस्टिंग ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स एंड स्टिल हम लोग मतलब बोल रहे हैं कि नहीं मतलब देर इज मतलब आई वॉन्ट मतलब कैपिटल पनिशमेंट फॉर द कल्प्रिट एंड मतलब ताकि ऐसा आगे को भी हो ही ना ताकि कल्प्रिट मतलब कभी भी ऐसा करने से पहले दस बार ही सोचे सो देर नथिंग लाइक दिस हैपन्स मतलब हम गर्ल्स वी आर नॉट सेफ मतलब हम लोग घर पे सेफ नहीं है सड़क पे सेफ नहीं है तीन साल की बच्ची के साथ ऐसा हो रहा है वट कैन आई एक्सपेक्ट मतलब आम अ टीन एजर आम एन अडल्ट वट कैन आई एक्सपेक्ट मतलब एक तीन साल की बच्ची हुई कैन नॉट स्पीक प्रॉपरली शी इज नॉट सेफ एट होम एट स्कूल हाउ कैन आई बी सेफ हु डू यू ब्लेम फॉर दिस द गवर्नमेंट Yes, absolutely the government too, but the society too. Right. There is, मतलब blame from every side. Society को भी steps लेने so that girls are safe, so that we support. अगर ऐसे किसी के साथ होता है, we support them. And government के लिए भी हम blame है क्योंकि because they are not, मतलब वैसे laws नहीं हैं कि कल पर दस बारी सोचे पहले ऐसा करने से. So मतलब वैसी society, मतलब we can say security नहीं है हमारे पास. एक कल पर मतलब ऐसा करने से पहले सोचेगा नहीं. Will be like हाँ हो हो गया तो कोई मसला नहीं है. जैसे अभी उन्हें भी बोला कि उसने अपनी locality में ऐसा किया जहाँ पे उसको जानते हैं. Everybody knows him. And still he does. this because usko pata hai aage ja ke matlab i'll get away with this so there you go more than about this incident this is about the systematic failure uh, these students say that they are girl students and today they are ashamed they are afraid because if this is happening with a 3 year old girl what about them and why is that the society is silent to this why isn't that uh, there is a mass uh, uh, galvanization of opinion of people and they protest against this now uh, as i said uh, while uh, uh, there is a spontaneous shutdown and then in between there are protests like these so it is uh, clearly a message uh, to the government that they no need to do more uh, there is no deterrent to such cases uh, there is no exemplary punishment which will stop uh people like uh, this accused uh, from uh, bandipura to do such a heinous act because they feel that there are loopholes in the system wherein they can get away with anything including rape and uh, that really is the shocking part and that exactly is the frustration and anger of these students and people in general who feel that there should be a deterrent there should be a strong punishment visible punishment to rapists uh, which is clearly a death penalty and that can only stop uh, such acts from recurring otherwise it's just a waste of time it's just time buying from the government who are absolutely non serious about these cases and absolutely non serious about putting an end by setting a deterrent against uh, such cases back to you right anger clearly spilling out on the streets there in shrinagar meer farid thank you so much for bringing us those voices from the ground